So as you may have heard already, FouseyTube, the famous guy who was famous for making those stupid prank videos like 10 years ago, is now in front of everyone's eyes again, and he's now an IRL streamer. So if you missed FouseyTube like I did so much, then hooray, I guess. So it seems like going from being one of those famous prank era YouTubers into an IRL streamer is quite a natural transition. That Sam Pepper guy who also used to do pranks is also an IRL streamer on kick.com. And I guess using the talents and skills they acquired from being pranksters does flow quite nicely into the IRL streaming environment. I do find it kind of funny how Kick.com is basically acquiring all of these degen streamers like Ice Poseidon, Sam Pepper, now FouseyTube. And they're getting a lot of exposure and a lot of publicity and attention is being directed at these streamers and Kick.com because of the crazy antics that people like FouseyTube are getting up to. So if you didn't know already, FouseyTube is basically someone who has a very explosive and volatile personality. He basically has bipolar and he can go from either being extremely manic and energetic or really depressed. So it's not exactly a difficult thing to understand why Kick.com decided to probably pay him millions of dollars to come over to Kick to be an IRL streamer. So basically what's currently happened is Fousey seems to have gotten himself arrested because well some doxer or some troll was messing with him and then he got mad and threatened him and then he called the police and then he started screaming and insulting the police, screaming at the police, and then the police decided to cuff him and take him away. I don't know if that's scripted or if it's fake, but it seemed pretty real to me. And I watched a few videos, a few commentary videos talking about this topic, this situation, and a lot of people like Moist Critical saying, Fousey needs help, no one's helping him. No one is actually helping him get what he needs. He is clearly going through a legitimate mental health crisis. And I don't really see why anyone should help him. There probably were people who genuinely cared for him and loved him, like his family and close friends. And what I'm guessing what happened was probably they tried to help him, but then he pushed them away because they were like getting in his way of him trying to become famous and getting attention and clout that he so desperately wants. So the people around him now are only the people who want to be around him so they can make money by helping him get views. The people who actually genuinely cared about him are probably not really in the picture very much anymore. I don't think he even wants any help. Does he actually want to get better and be able to take control over this thing that he has? I don't think he wants to. I think he wants to just let it get out of control and cause him to do crazy stuff because he knows that's going to get loads of views and attention, which seems to be the most important thing to Fousey, seems to be money, views and attention. And the way to get those things is by going manic, going crazy and not getting help or getting this thing fixed or making his manic episodes go away because then he won't get the attention he desperately wants so badly. You can't really force a grown man to go and get help when he obviously doesn't really want help. It's like trying to force a really fat person to go to the gym and exercise when they know they should and maybe they want to but they just can't be bothered because they're too lazy and maybe they're just fine content with being fat because they love food so much. I actually find it hard to understand how a person like FouseyTube even exists. It's like he's not an actual person. He is like he's a character, like a cartoon character out of The Simpsons who just does and says stuff and it's supposed to be funny. I never really find him funny. He's usually just screaming at people. His entire content just seems to be screaming at people, sometimes slapping them and then screaming at people and then having some kind of crazy rant about something dumb that doesn't make any sense. The guy is not entertaining at all. It's only kind of funny if you find it funny to watch someone have some kind of mental breakdown, which I don't really find that funny. It's, it's just kind of sad and makes me feel like I pity him a little bit. I feel sorry for him. Sure, he's got all the money in the world and he thinks his life is so amazing and better than everyone else, but I just, I find it kind of sad and I feel sorry for him. Like, he doesn't seem like a real human being. To be honest, I kind of feel like IRL streaming is getting out of hand, especially with this Kick thing. Ever since Kick, the new streaming platform, started to get big and started to get big streamers to come over, I feel like IRL streaming has just kind of become worse and worse, more and more degenerate. And um, these streamers just getting in trouble, getting arrested in different countries, just because it's entertaining to the viewers and the only way to get big view counts seems to be to get 
in some kind of trouble with the police or just be a menace to society in public. There's a few that come to name, like Ice Poseidon got arrested in Thailand for doing a city dance in a fancy hotel. And then he was released after like a month or nearly two months being stuck in Thailand. And then there's that Johnny Somali guy just making a complete fool of himself in Japan all the time and getting the police coming over to him to get him to stop doing this and getting in trouble with the police and getting slapped by Japanese people who found out about his viral clips and don't like him, obviously. And it's just getting worse and worse. Now, FouseyTube is joining in as well. And FouseyTube just kind of makes these other guys look and sound kind of tame in comparison. FouseyTube is like, imagine all of the D-Gen streamers, but then times 1,000 times worse because the guy is actually completely crazy and has no regards for other people's feelings or safety or even his own safety and he's got no self-preservation awareness and i'm worried that at some point these menace to society kind of nuisance streamers they're going to ruin it for everyone these countries are going to get fed up with all these streamers japan's going to get fed up with all these streamers just causing trouble out in public and they're going to ban it the government's going to say stuff like no more live streaming that's it we've had enough some countries have already banned streaming like switzerland i think it's illegal to live stream and film someone's face and live stream their face because you didn't get their permission you didn't get the consent and i feel like a lot of other countries are going to follow suits because this streaming stuff is just getting out of hand and it's going to ruin it for everyone else people like me who do sometimes do irl streaming but we just do normal stuff like going for a walk going to do a bit of shopping or going to a restaurant and we're not being idiots in public or we're not causing trouble with the police we're just trying to have a, a nice time with our viewers and we're not trying to have drama and what's going to happen is because of people like Fuzi and Ice and Johnny Sanmali us small streamers who don't really do anything wrong we're going to get punished as well because we're going to be lumped in the same group you know back in the day people would see a youtuber filming a video out in public and there would be excitement and they would think it's cool like oh look it's a youtuber wow but now I think it's going to turn into something else where they're going to see someone holding a phone or a camera on a selfie stick and they're just going to think another stupid weird live streamer is going to annoy me and humiliate people around himself and humiliate himself just so he can get some views and some clicks on the internet. I think people are just going to slowly turn against streamers and YouTubers if people like FouseyTube and Johnny Somali and the others don't get stopped and they aren't punished in some way or there has to be some kind of consequences that stop them from doing this but the problem is there's no consequences bad enough to stop them from doing it yeah they get arrested or put in a jail cell for a few days or a week or two or maybe they get fined some money but the problem is the amount of clout attention and clicks and views they get and money they get probably they get some money from it i guess that to them makes it worth doing and it makes them able to ignore any consequences. The consequences and punishments should be harsher to prevent this from happening still. Otherwise, otherwise the entire category and genre of IRL streaming is just going to get completely destroyed by these people.